Hello, Coach Hughes. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Casey. How are you? I'm doing great. What does Ryan Miyato bring to your leadership group? I think from the from the day Ryan got here, he, he established himself as a as a really key part of our dressing room. He's a guy that he brings it every day for us. You know, he's he's great in the room. The guys have a lot of respect for him when he speaks. Guys listen, and he's not a guy that gets overly emotional. You know, he's a pretty even keel guy, and he's a guy we can rely on in a lot of situations. How are you preparing for the December first deadline? Do you plan on making any moves? I uh, probably very similar to everyone else in our league. We're just looking at opportunities to get better if we can. You know, you, you take your phone calls, you do your research on players, and you know what? You just make decisions that you think are in the best interest of your franchise. The team released a press release regarding that the Bulldogs are seeking an ownership partner. How does that affect the community, you, and the team? I guess in terms of affecting the community, I mean, it's just showing that, you know, our ownership group currently wants to ensure the long term stability of the franchise. You know, it, it's not uncommon at this level. In terms of me, I mean, it, it's for us as, an, as a coaching staff, we operate, you know, as is. Nothing changes for us. We're trying to help these kids get to the next level and achieve their goals as much as possible. And from a player's point of view, they just come here and play and work hard every day and they try to get better every day as well. What a wonderful gift for our community to host a World Junior Championship pre-tournament game. This is an incredible opportunity for our AV Bulldogs to learn and experience what it's like to play against a world junior team. How are you preparing for this game? Uh, we're excited about it. I think it's a, it's a really neat opportunity for our kids and it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's something they probably never get a chance to do again. You know, so we, we were excited when we heard about it and you know, right now we're worrying about our regular season games and when that comes up we'll, we'll get our guys ready for it. But we're looking forward to it. Your thoughts about Tally Campbell leaving for the Nanaimo Clippers? Uh, Tally made a decision that was best for himself. I mean, he's done a lot of great work here and wish him nothing but the best. How did Ryan Moon look on his Bulldogs debut? I thought Mooner looked good. You know, I thought I thought he, he ran out of gas a little bit as the, as the game went on. He's been off the ice for a little while in terms of game situations, but I thought in the first period he had some real good touches. He's a, he's a big, strong, physical guy. He's skilled on the wall and he gets to the net. You got an invite to guest coach for the World Junior A Challenge. How does it feel to be chosen for this experience? Uh, it's an honor. I mean, obviously, you're there with 40 of the best junior A hockey players in Western Canada and helping those guys pick a hockey team that can hopefully win a gold medal. So I think for me, it'll be a great learning experience and really looking forward to it. Thanks, Coach. Anytime.